Welcome to e-commerce courses. We focus on business, technology, and society in this course. The first lectures. As you know, e-commerce developed uh, since 1995 to 2015 over 20 years. Over 20 years, with the first example of Amazon.com since 1994 up to now, still the most successful e-commerce companies. In 2013, over 155 million U.S. consumers spent over 419 million U.S. dollars online, with businesses spent over 4,800 billion or 4.8 trillion U.S. dollars online. We have seen over 20 years the failures and success of lots of e-commerce companies with the developed and uh, growth of different types of e-business models. Since 2002 and 2008, uh, we see uh, that e-commerce team growth at the rate of over 25% per year. And now we also see the development of new business model, really new business model in e-commerce like Facebook with social, e-commerce, YouTube and Twitter. Uh, we also see um, one time in 2000 and 2001, a lot of e-commerce failures because uh, they cannot fulfill the orders in time. So, in 1994, e-commerce, as we know, did not exist. In 2013, less than 20 years later, around 155 million American consumers are expected to spend about 419 billion and businesses more than 1.8 trillion purchasing goods and services online. The early years of e-commerce during the late 1990s were a period of business vision, inspiration and experimentation with new e-business models. However, establishing a successful business model based on those visions would not be easy. They followed a period of uh, re rebuild, re-engineering new business model which led to stock market crash in 2000 and 2001 with the value of e-commerce telecommunications and the other technology stock plummeting after the bubble burst a lot of failures many people were quick to re, re um, engineer to change their e-commerce e model the surviving firms after that refined and changed their business model with the experience from 2000 and 2001 failures which lead to the new e-business model maybe the combination of online offline uh, traditional with new uh, pure online e-commerce companies and uh, between 2002 and 2008 e-commerce grew at more than 25 percent per year so we also see the trends in e-commerce in 2013 and 2014. Retail e-commerce in the United States continue to double digit over 15%, with global growth rate even higher in Europe and emerging markets such as China, India, and Brazil. A new social e-commerce platform based on social networks and supported by advertising emerged to grow to an estimated of 5 billion in 2013 in the United States and over 8 billion worldwide. Mobile retail e-commerce explodes uh, and is estimated to reach almost 40 billion in the United States in 2013. A new app based online economy growth along uh, traditional internet e-commerce, generating an estimated of 25 billion in revenue worldwide in 2013. Local e-commerce, the third dimension of new e-business model including social, mobile and local e-commerce way is also growing in the United States to an estimated of 4.4 billion US dollars in 2013. Facebook continues to grow with more than 1.1 billion active users worldwide. Twitter continues to grow with more than 200 million active users worldwide. And search engine marketing continues to challenge traditional marketing and advertising media. Social and mobile advertising platform show strong growth and begin to challenge search engine marketing. So we see a lot of trends 
of development in e-commerce in 2013 and 2014. So, in brief, uh, what is the e-commerce definition? We can uh, have a definition of uh, e-commerce e is the use of uh, internet, the web, and the apps to transact business. More formally, digitally enabled commercial transactions between and among organizations and individuals. Since 1994-1995, uh, Uncitrans developed the concept of e-commerce is a commercial transaction or buying and selling of products and services through uh, electronic devices and uh, communication networks, especially on uh, computers, smartphones. Uh, mobile phone and uh, internet uh, and as a communication network. E-commerce is uh, really different to to e-business. E-commerce is different to e-business. E-business uh, is a digital uh, enabling transaction and processes within a firm involving information system under the control of the firm. So e-commerce, we focus on online transaction or buying and selling a product and services. It's more marketing orientation. Any e business is a, a digital enabling on the transaction and processes within the firm from procuring uh, research and development uh, production and uh, inside a firm and in the interaction with the suppliers is more focused on manufacturing and running a firm and e-commerce more focused on marketing and selling product and customer service so on the left hand side we have e-business and on the right hand side we have e-commerce system there is of course a common areas among e-commerce and e-business that is inside the firm we also focus on the key eight features of e-commerce in the next uh, in this uh, session we, we focus on ubiquity global reach universal standards social technology personalization customization information density and interactivity and richness of uh, e-commerce uh, regarding ubiquity the first and the most outstanding uh, feature or character of e-commerce, we know that uh, e-commerce is a conduct a commercial transaction and broad meaning may be managing an um, application of ICT in many general activities of firms uh, including global firms. So ubiquity is uh, uh, internet technologies available everywhere at work, at home and elsewhere via mobile devices and it's harm. The marketplace is extended beyond traditional boundaries. Uh, and uh, removed uh, from temporal and geographic location. Market space is created. Shopping can take place anywhere. Customer convenience is enhanced and shopping costs are reduced. Ubiquity means uh, we can do uh, and conduct uh, e-commerce uh, any, anywhere, anywhere from anywhere. The second uh, character of e-commerce is uh, global reach. Technologies, technologies reaches across national boundaries. Around the earth, commerce is enabled across cultural and national boundaries. Uh, without modification, marketplace now become becomes market space, includes potential billions of consumers and millions of business worldwide. So the market uh, for any business now the market is a global market because uh, it can reach uh, every buyers, potential buyers, even they are individuals or business around the world with the website with online transaction. The third characteristic or the third feature of e-commerce is universal standard. There is only one set of technology standard for e-commerce that is uh, internet standard. There is a common inexpensive, if not to say very cheap, uh, global technologies for business to use any any business from own science can access to internet can access to web to build a website to advertise the product to get the customer come to the website and to do online transaction they can also get the payment from customer around the world thanks to internet technology the next feature is uh, richness uh, with the internet with the web uh, all information or the message transfer from buyer and seller can in the form of video, audio and text messages. All things are possible. Video, audio and text messages. 
marketings are integrated into single marketing messages and consuming experience. Uh, so the next uh, feature is interactivity. The technology works through interaction with the users. Consumers are engaged in dialogue that dynamically adjusts the experience to the individual and makes the consumer a, con a co-participant in the process of delivering goods to the markets. Customer now can interact with the, the, the buyer, the sellers, the manufacturers. So the man manufacturer and the seller can also change, address or customize their product and services to meet the demand of specific consumer for specific customer. The next character is information density. The technology reduces information cost and raises quality. Information processing storage and communication costs drop dramatically while currency accuracy and timeless improve greatly information becomes plentiful cheap and accurate customer and buyers can access worldwide and many supplier many buyer seller at the same time so they can get the information they can make the decision more precisely can buy the better product with lower cost lower price or something uh, the next or the seventh character of uh, e-commerce is a personalization or customization. The technologies allow personalized messages to be delivered to individuals as well as groups. Uh, so interactivity with uh, personalization uh, create uh, the uh, more pres more more suitable products to meet more specific uh, needs and demand of uh, buyers. For example, when you get into the Amazon.com, you get the specific offer for the new books, the new item based on the history of uh, purchase of uh, customers and also based on the background of education or personal background of customer. So the sellers or manufacturer can offer more customized, more personalized product and services to, uh, cust to, to customer. And also in recent uh, maybe few years, we have seen that the development of social networks with the contribution of the content come from uh, individuals around the world. So social technologies, user content generation and social networks, new internet social and business model enable user uh, to create contents, to distribute and support social networks. So now people can do e-commerce activities on, on social networks like Facebook, like YouTube and the other uh, popular social network. In this slide, we will uh, discuss the major types of e-commerce. Of course, we have three traditional e-business uh, e-commerce model over the years, last first 10 years from 1995 to uh, 2005. We have B2C uh, stands for business to consumer. We also have B2B stands for business to business and also C2C stands for consumer to consumer. And uh, with the most uh, popular example of Amazon.com for B2C, Alibaba.com in China for B2B, and also eBay at the first uh, online auction for c 2 c consumer. Over the years, they have been the most popular, three most popular e-business models. And recently, we have three more um, new e-business models like social e-commerce with Facebook, M commerce or mobile commerce and local e commerce like Groupon offer subscriber daily deal from local businesses close to the location of customer uh, in the form of group coupon or groupons, discount coupons that take place once enough sub when, when enough cast enough buyers or subscriber agree to a purchase. Uh, the figures uh, or the picture so that uh, B2B still accounts for the very very last maybe 90% of online transaction because of one transaction uh, between two businesses maybe the value is really really big and uh, maybe thousand times bigger than the you don't have to say more than the value of transaction between a consumer to a buyer so local business now 1.4 billion US dollars social with 5 billion mobile commerce 40 billion C2C transaction 90 billion and B2C 419 billion but all of them together maybe 10% of 10% uh, of over a little bit 10% of um, B2B transaction if we look at the uh, retail market uh, in United States the retail market 
uh, worth uh, 3.8 trillion or 3,800 billion US dollar when B2C online e-commerce uh, retail market only uh, 259 259 billion so it's only 5% or around 5% a little bit more than 5% of uh, the overall US retail market so there is a lot of opportunities for online retail market to grow uh, for the forms of online transaction we have retail chain web only online transaction catalog or call center and consumer brand manufacturers we have seen that uh, the call center now 10% or 11.4% and um, a retail trend with online online website about 34 and 9 percent or uh, web only is a pure e-commerce 42.3 percent and consumer brand manufacturer also setting up the online channel to sell their products account for 11 percent and also we have a look at uh, what the products can be uh, can be sold online so what product and services can be sold to online the figure so that uh, uh, we can sell most of the thing online from jewelry specialty food and beverage office equipment and supplies books music videos auto auto pass uh, computer and electronics products uh, maybe 56 uh, million US dollar compares uh, jewelry 1.7 million we have a look at uh, household furniture 20 million toys and hobbies 13 million health and beauty 12 billion hardware home improvement 4.5 million sporting goods and flower and gift so most of the thing can be can be sold online i'm sorry the number is billion uh, so it's the first uh, overview of e-commerce over the years uh, if you have time you can log in the YouTube channels about e-commerce and see the history and the development of e-commerce with Amazon, with Dell, Alibaba. Also, we look at the Facebook and Google, the two uh, giant uh, e-commerce models. And also, we look at the Walmart. Uh, we can have a few minutes, uh, the movie on Walmart, uh, the traditional uh, companies, the largest uh, supermarket chain worldwide, but uh, become very fast as an application of information and technology to modernize their uh, management activities and also join the e-commerce becoming one of the top sellers online so log in the youtube channel you can spend some time watching the movies this is the end of the first section thank you for watching see you later